Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be working on a Copic speed paint in this sketchbook here. It's the sketchbook from Jazza's Art Box, and this is the reference photo I'm using for the pose. It's by Suzanne Helmig. I just downloaded some of her pose packs yesterday, so I'm very excited to get some use out of them. And then to pick my colors, I used Sarah Renee Clark's color catalog. That's the one I chose, although I ended up also adding green later on. Now, this sketchbook. I don't know what is up with this sketchbook. I think it's magical somehow because whenever I go to draw in it, I'm just so content. I'm so happy. I'm so at peace. I'm just 100% enjoying the process. And I'm wondering if it's because it's different than how I typically do my Copic videos. Cause usually I'll sketch on a piece of paper, then I'll trace it using my light box onto my marker paper. And then I go from there but this is just a different process. Maybe I just like switching it up. Not that I necessarily like this more than the other method, but just it's something new maybe. And I also really like how I'm forced to ink on top of my sketch. Usually I avoid that because I erase so much that you end up seeing the pencil lines because they don't erase fully and you end up with like a second head beside her head or something like that. But I feel like I don't I don't struggle as much with my sketches as I used to. This one I was struggling kind of hard with it and my lines were getting pretty dark in areas, but it was still contained enough that, like I said, you're not seeing a second head or something where she doesn't have an extra hand showing. It also helped having that reference photo so it was easy to get the pose down. I just couldn't decide on some details like how I was changing up the outfit because I still wanted big puffy sleeves. This is a cardigan by the way, at least in my mind it's a big oversized cardigan. <laughs> I wanted to keep a scarf but I wanted it to be different because in the reference photo it was kind of more like a bandana style. And yeah, I just changed things up here and there, but I wasn't sure what I wanted. So there was a little bit of playing around, but I was just so happy working on this. And I think I've been happier in general. It's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video is I've been feeling more at peace with my YouTube channel and my art. I think a big part of it is I get insecure about how good the art is and then also how many views are my videos getting all that kind of stuff but lately i've just i don't care how well the video performs i'm caring more about like am i happy with this artwork and i think they have always gone hand in hand like if i feel like it's not as strong of an art piece i get really nervous about the video i get nervous to read comments and things like that and i stress over that but lately i've been happier with my art and so I don't really care how the video performs. I just care that I'm happy with how the art is turning out and that I'm progressing and I'm improving and that kind of stuff. Cause you know, it's natural for YouTubers to stress about their numbers, but lately I just haven't been as worried about it. And I know I made that video being like, oh, YouTube channels could be severely affected by the new rules coming coming January. But I, even though I made that video, I'm not really that stressed about it. I'm just like, oh, you know, things will work out as they're meant to. And like I mentioned in that video, I feel like I am okay even if my channel gets hit by these new rules. Okay, I got on a slight tangent there, but the point is I've just been feeling at peace about my channel. I've been feeling happier about my art. And some of that is translated here in this drawing because initially, I don't know if you noticed, but I drew her with wide eyes and an open mouth and it just didn't look good. So I wanted to redraw it. But then I thought, hey, what if she has her eyes half closed because she's looking down and we'll just give her a nice gentle smile because I felt like that just matched my mood while I was working on this. I just wanted her to have a serene feeling to her. And so that's why I named this drawing at peace kind of lame. I don't know. I don't really think that hard about names when I name stuff. <laughs> I only name it because I have to call it something when I save it. And when I upload it to Redbubble and stuff, I'm like, oh, I need a title for this. So I guess I'll name it. <laughs> but yeah, she just matches my current outlook and vibe. Oh yeah. I think another reason why I'm feeling so good is that I've just been so productive this week. I mean, not that I'm normally not because I was insanely productive with the store stuff, like staying up late every night, getting so much done, but I like being productive, 
but not focusing too much on one thing to the point where I'm neglecting something else. So I was working so hard on the store and then I was like, oh my God, like I need to start making more YouTube videos. And so then I just dove straight into it and I've been filming so many and I'm like, yes, I'm just getting this high off and I'm like, yes, filming all the videos. <laughs> I have more I want to say about this artwork, but I'm gonna wait till it's a little more completed to talk about it. I guess I'll talk about my next enamel pin designs. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about, but I designed two new ones for the holidays. There is a cutie pine and a ginger bun. I was gonna maybe do more, but then I thought, no Bailey, just two because this is gonna be a store launch that is happening quite quickly. It's gonna be end of November. Usually I space them out by three months, but this time they'll only be spaced out by two months. So it's gonna be pretty intense. I officially placed my order for those pins the other day and it takes a full month for them to arrive. So once they are here, it's gonna be a mad scramble. Even before they're here, just I have other things to do to prep, like a bunch of things to order. I have to fold boxes and all kinds of stuff like that. So I figured, two is probably enough. <laughs> Mermaid bun and flower bun are officially retired until further notice. Thick Dino will not be in the next launch simply because I had so many pins to order, like it's getting out of control. Every time I order pins, I end up ordering more, but I try not to because that means I'm gonna have more orders to package, <laughs> but there's just so many designs. That's why I have to retire some of them because it just, it gets out of control. So Thick Dino's retired for now, but he will make a comeback because I think it'd be fun to have a series of thick animals like Thick Giraffe was one of the first ones that came to mind. I don't know what else I'll do. There's so many possibilities. So, I mean, technically there's a thick cat because I did Bimba in a box, which is a chubby cat in a box, but that's different. Anyway, so, so Thick Dino will make a return. I just had to make some cuts for this order because I was ordering 2,150 pins and last time I ordered 1,750 or something like that. So we're already ordering way more this time, so. Yikes. <laughs> and thank you guys for showing the support and the love in my shop. Stuff sells out so quickly, like almost everything sold out in the first day. And then stuff, there's just like trickles of sales for the next few days because there wasn't much left available to purchase. So yeah, thank you so much. Then as for prints, I will be bringing back the three prints I had for sale last time. So there was Newt Bakery and Petal Dance. And I'm gonna be adding another one, which is the art you'll see in my next video. That's gonna be a hollow mini print. And then I kind of want this artwork right here to also be a hollow mini print, but then I have five, like, oh my God, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm getting too crazy with the store stuff. <laughs> I also want to expand and maybe do washi tapes or little stationary pads, like I've oh, acrylic charms. There's so many things I would love to do and I'm like, Bailey, calm down. <laughs> I don't have time for all this, but I just I get very excited about it. <laughs> So I guess let me know if you would like this as a small hollow print. It is also on Redbubble so you can get it as regular prints and larger prints. You can get on tote bags, whatever the heck you want. Just a warning though, the art for my next video is already posted to Redbubble. So if you go there, you're gonna get spoilers. If you don't mind spoilers, that's fine. But if you want it to be a surprise, don't go looking there. Maybe this is all a ploy to get you to my red bubble shop. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I neglect my red bubble shop so hard. So the fact that I added two new pieces of art to it is, it's a miracle. <laughs> Back to the art for a second. Now that you can see more of the colors and the lighting and stuff, oh, it just gives me such cozy fall vibes. I just love how I did the strong yellow lighting. I wasn't sure at first that I was gonna do that, but because there was yellow in the hair, that just inspired me to add yellow everywhere. And then I wasn't gonna add the speckles for tree leaves in the background. It was just gonna be vertical lines. Then I thought, no, no, let's add in some leaves here. And then I ended up loving how that looked. First I thought I was ruining it, but no, I think it just adds a nice simple, simple background to it. I just love this one. I love the colors I chose. I love the lighting. I love the loose, sketchy feel it has. I'm just, I'm very happy with it and hope you guys like it too. I think that is yet another reason why I've been happier lately is it's fall. I'm out of that crazy summer heat. I don't have to melt every day. Yes, ugh. That's the one thing I miss about my basement room is it wasn't all sweaty and my cameras didn't overheat. Ugh, even with the portable AC on, my cameras overheat. I do not like. So fall, mm, mm, perfect. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.